Nala, you should be, uh, you should think it's, a, you should consider it a privilege and an honor to be sitting next to one of the greatest actors of our generation. I know. A man who was in a movie that's number one in 73 God, countries. God, stop. <laughs> Come on. I didn't want number, to make this big deal. Number, like, one, is number your, one in 73 countries, it, baby. Is, is, is that how many? 73 countries. People were talking about it all up and down my timeline. You know, sending me these quotes that they're saying are like memorable, big time quotes. Andrew got, Schultz, baby, the Hezzy. Guys, no stop it. Guys, yeah. stop yeah. it. Yeah. You guys are just so crazy. I'm just, like, saying, listen, I'm just a regular guy. Like, I'm still one of the, you know, the folks here on the pod. Like, we're just talking and like being friends. You what know was what I mean? your like, motivation? It's that one line where you said the <laughs> are making you gay. <laughs> I was just trying to be real, man. You know, yeah. I was just, you know, yeah. I was just trying to channel my like my true beliefs yeah, about yeah, the yeah, other yeah. vaccine. I didn't say which makes you gay. Yeah. Do you I know was what I, mean? I was shocked they kept that in there. Yeah. You know, Netflix, left-leaning, you know what I'm saying? I think, yeah, I think that, you know, what it really comes down to is that, like, we know that, you know, society is trying to force people to be straight nowadays. So, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. what I was saying is <laughs> the most progressive thing we could do is we could have a for heterosexuality. Word. Word. But I thought you said it makes you gay. Well, yeah, it allows you to be gay because it... It's a way to straight. Oh, the straight is a disease, you, bro. You, you, you know that. You. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everybody want to be straight nowadays. Everybody want to be straight, man. Is straight even natural? I wouldn't think so. I, you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't, I don't think you anything. Guys? What what you mean? Mean? What? I'm just asking the question. What? I mean, what? you kind of come out with the like, with like, a, something still stuck to you, right? In terms of the umbilical cord, exactly. You know what I'm saying? I thought you was. Saying something completely I mean, different. No, I'm saying, <laughs> it is just kind of weird that you come out as a man, yeah. you have the umbilical cord stuck to you, yeah. but then you spend the rest of your life pausing anything that's long and looks like that. That's so true, bro. You don't think so? Nah, that's so true. Yeah, bro. yeah. I think I think we're gay, man. So yeah. <laughs> uh. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Um, listen. I don't know where we're going with this, but uh, yeah, no idea. But I, didn't listen, even, I don't even know how to double How do you shit. feel? How do I feel about uh, you know the being in the movie? Yeah, yeah, number one in seventy-three countries. Listen, I think it's great. Yeah, I think it's great. It is great. It is cool to see people are still watching movies. To be honest with you, like, I mean, yeah, I didn't know because so many of these movies come out like you go, you see like the Oscars and that shit, and like you like what's nominated. You're like, I never seen the the Banshees of Insurance. Yeah, I don't yeah, know what yeah, the fuck yeah, these yeah. movies are. Yeah. And then a movie like this comes out and you just, your timeline is lit the fuck up and everybody's tagging you and you're like, whoa, that's yeah, crazy yeah, that yeah, this yeah. one. People aren't really going to the theaters like that, but we're definitely at home Yo, watching. They're going to the theaters for the blockbusters. The yes. Yeah. blockbusters. It, it gotta be Avatar. Avatar. It's gotta be Top Gun. Something Marvel, Top Gun, yes. shit like that. The big blockbusters, yes, I want to see that on the big screen. But comedy, give it to me at home where I could watch it. I could still be like, you know, be around the house if I got to fold some laundry and watch the comedy. And also you got every famous person in it, you know. No, the cast was great. Crazy. <laughs> Yo, Nala cast. liked it. Nala texted me and said she fucked with it. Yeah. Which part did you like? Fact, let me read exactly Which, what Nala said. Did you Nala like said. the section or did you like the... I was just like, capital. damn, they got the perfect person for that role. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, it's role, called it's acting, role. Nyla. Too. Sure. Nyla, it's called acting, okay? I, I was yo, playing a character. It was great. Okay, good. It was really, I thought, good. I liked the... Um, Young Miami, I thought she was funny. She was, funny. The, she was good in it. The she wig coming off, the mom accidentally yeah. doing like the whole thing was just really funny. Good yeah. movie. She said, "You watched the You People movie in Netflix." I said, "Nah, not yet. Is it good?" She said, "Overall, yes. This is Nyla. Overall, oh, yes. God. Some of the writing was a little corny. I well, think the okay. actors made it good. The actors made it good. But and the then just J Lo got a shot for no reason. I was like, "Is J Lo in the movie? She's not even in the movie." She said it was an upgrade from the Jennifer Lopez <laughs> wedding movies. <laughs> My mom made me sit through. I was like, what? God, <laughs> I love that part. She you know? like, got a shot for no reason. Yeah. I'm just saying, my yeah. mom used to make me sit through all those wedding movies. I don't really care for them. But J-Lo this one had bad was, wedding movies? She got J-Lo three. still looks good, man. There's a scene with that bread basket on display, and it's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> <laughs> there's a scene. Bread basket there's, is wild. There's a scene where, like, it is the, just phenomenal. The part where the writing old. was corny to me is where they Shit. dragged that Drake debate. Like, no, this is like, take care of Drake. No, I need you to be on your Scorpion Drake. You guys remember that line? In the oh, beginning? Yeah. I only oh, watched yeah. the parts where I was I'm in like, it. this is such a drag. And I, I felt triggered when Nunu, I mean, when Lauren London said, I love this song. I'm like, what, what is song this, was ATL? It? I don't, I don't know. It was just, 
Why did you feel triggered because a, a woman said she liked a song? Because yeah. that, that is just such a viral moment from ATL that having it in another movie is like. Oh, it was a oh, callback. Do you think it was an homage maybe? I that, think so. Yeah, yeah. I, I like those. That. I told you I wanted Best um, Man Final Chapter to have one of those. Like there should have been a scene where they Tay throw Diggs some love and Sinai Lathan yeah. was like, yo, Tay Diggs was like, so when did you first fall in love with hip hop or something? Yeah. Or when did mm. you fall out of love with hip hop? Like something. I'm tired like, of seeing them together on screen. Honestly, even though I thought great script, I'm tired of seeing them together on screen. Yo, you Ooh. hate love, yo. No, Ooh. I don't hate love. But Ooh, it's like God that. damn. Because honestly, <laughs> right before I watched Best Man Next Chapter, I had watched um, Brown, Sugar. Brown Sugar two days before. So I'm like, oh. I'm, and then it was the same, the light skinned lady, uh, what's her name? Mary Sabord, Nicole Boris Parker. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was the one that was about to marry Terrence Howard. It was like, dang, it's the same five actors. They you do know listen. these movies are like 30 years apart. I mean, right? that's fine, like, but I'm just... <laughs> Even though you might have watched tired, them back to back. I'm tired. I'm tired. Not me. All they need is Omar Epps. He was the only one missing. Well, that was the 90s movie. Oh, crew. you don't like seeing the same black actors in movies. She hates black actors that's is what she said. <laughs> Would you prefer <laughs> white actors <laughs> play that? That'd be, is that what you're trying you to say? Actors? You want a little bit more diversity in black movies? <laughs> you hate black actors. You just said you hated every it's great black I actor. It. I just hated seeing them constantly dating in every not movie. Not me. I loved it. I used you to want watch, the same couples dating in every movie? I didn't even think about it. That's how good the acting was. Yeah, Omar, you're, you're oh, lost in the character. Yes. Omar Epps and Sinai Lathan, totally different than Omar Epps and Juice or Sinai Lathan and Brown Sugar. Like, I never even thought about it until you said it. Like, like, oh shit, those that is the same. But when crew, you watch back to back black rom coms, mm. there's gonna be some similarities with the actors and the plot. Love Jones is nothing like Brown Sugar. Love Jones is nothing like. I didn't there's say one Love story Jones. for rom coms. You can watch every rom com so back to back. Brown Sugar, it's Brown Sugar is top tier. It, it's up there, but Love Jones is top tier. Tier. Oh, like no, that's my one. wife's favorite movie. Yeah, Color Purple like, and Love Jones, my wife's favorite. Wait, movie. what is Brown Color Sugar? Purple. Oh, you gotta watch it. No, who's in that one? Tay Diggs, Tay Diggs and Tupac Nihilated. has sex with Janet Jackson and uh, that's poetic justice. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Was that when justice. Tupac works for the Postal Service? That's poetic that, justice. That, that, that one. Poetic no. justice was good too. All that shit was dope, yo. Like that, but that was the '90s black crew. Morris Chestnut, Brown Sugar's early 2000s. Early or no? Because yeah, Erica Badu like did ninety eight, ninety nine, two thousand maybe. Probably two thousand one. Two thousand one. Yeah, probably two thousand one. Because my wife was just a freshman in college. You know, yeah, yeah, it is interesting. You want to see a different character play something, but at the same time, if you're investing the money in the project, you want the person that's going to bring the eyeballs. Yeah, you're right. That's the tricky one. But we, and you know, so funny, we act like white people don't do that. Oh, like, white people do it all the time. Exactly. Jo uh, Jonah Hill, Seth, uh, what was, which Seth? Daniel Day Lewis is our. Um, Chadwick Boseman. You know how Jab Chadwick Boseman yeah, yeah, was just yeah, 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 plays yeah. like every famous black person yeah. ever? That's Daniel Day Lewis. Yeah, like yeah, he'll yeah. be the oil motherfucker. He'll be Abraham Lincoln. He'll yeah. be the guy from the five points or whatever it is. So yeah, we all do that. We then go, there was okay. a crew though. James Franco and Seth uh Seth, Seth Rogen, Seth Rogen yeah. did a bunch of stuff together. Adam Sandler and his homies. Adam Sandler and his homies. I want to correct Farrell. what I said. Yeah. I don't want people Will to Farrell. think I don't want them to keep getting parts. I want them to keep getting parts. I just don't want them to keep dating the same. Yo, maybe actors. maybe you got to choose different movies, yo. Mm. Nah, if you maybe hate black actors, you, and actors, just say Nyla, it, yo. You know what I mean? Yo. Maybe you hate black love. Anyway, I, I don't know why. I don't know why black and brown shit got a shot today. You shot J Lo for no reason. Yeah. Now you're shooting all but the black girls. That, that black girl was dating that white boy. Oh, what are you talking you about? Jungle that Fever. black girl was dating that white boy and you oh, people. Oh, in the movie. You love Jungle no, Fever. Yeah! 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 You got you Jungle about, Fever. You're talking about the movie he's in. Ooh. Oh, you're not talking about Lauren London? What? What's it called For the People? I was talking about For the People. <laughs> What's it called? For the People. <laughs> you people. You people. No. Yeah, we were talking about that. <laughs> I'm or just you, saying, you seem to be a little bit more partial to movies where a white no, man I, steals I a black woman. I thought it was weird that Lauren was dating him. Like, the whole debate on Twitter is, would Lauren London really date him? That's Fuck so no. Silly. The answer That's is That's the most no. unrealistic shit. Yeah. That's why it's in a movie. This should be a science fiction film. Okay. <laughs> There's no fucking way in any world to that, that Lauren that London did Jonah Hill. You never thing. know, though. Jonah might have some good conversation. No, nah, Jonah's funny. Yo, there's a hilarious thing. The la I don't know if you know if I should share this shit. But uh, the final scene, they don't even kiss. It's CGI. 
Get the fuck out Swear of here. Swear to God, son. How's it CGI? I'm there. I'm watching the wedding and I see them go in for the kiss and their faces stop like this far. And I'm like, I wonder how they're going to play that in the movie. Oh, they're probably just going to cut right there. But the movie, you could see their faces come close wow. and then you could see their faces morph a little bit wow. into a fake kiss. Salute to Lauren London making Dr. Umar proud in real That's life. That's what I'm saying, bro. <laughs> he might have got That's pissed off in the movie. That's black Dr. Umar might have got pissed off in the movie, but in yeah. real life, Lauren Dr. Umar's like, you people got it right. Right. That's, <laughs> That's the acting I like. <laughs> well, go check out you people on Netflix, man. Check out, you know, Andrew, you know, spreading conspiracy <laughs> theories about the vaccine. Doing coke in Vegas. The vaccine. We outside. Making people <laughs> gay. We outside. Was they, there any fentanyl jokes? I was just... I'm trying to think. Maybe I threw something in. You know, I coke in Vegas, there's some fentanyl in the cocaine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah they yeah, cut yeah. my they cut my line that I bombed with Eddie, so that was... That was uh, probably good for my career. Yeah. What was but, it? Uh, oh man, I just I butchered this line. They switched lines with me and someone else like right before the scene started, mm -hmm. so I didn't have time to learn the shit really. And it was like with Eddie. I'm talking to Eddie, so I'm already fucking nervous because I'm talking to Eddie. Yeah. And uh, I just fumbled that shit mad times. And like Eddie's supposed to react, but I was saying it so bad that at one point he just looks at me because he goes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know how I know that shit hurt, Show. Yeah, I've heard this story 15 <laughs> times. Yeah, I know, I know. Yeah. Brilliant idiots and flagrant. I've literally heard this story 15 times, yo. <laughs> that shit is yeah. not leaving your sister. <laughs> Let this it go, is, man. Bro, no, this is my like a uh, Jerry <laughs> Girl smell. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my God. <laughs> <laughs> that shit traumatized that show, did, yo. I literally was, I'm not even joking I've heard this story 15 times between Idiots and Flagrant I know and you bro. say it every time with the same passion yeah. <laughs> yeah yeah listen I gotta promote a movie Charlamagne okay? you know what I'm I gotta get people out to their own one day Eddie Murphy out to their own so, yeah, by the way he probably already has somebody's gonna say yo you should really watch that guy on Infamous yo Let's he's see, gonna watch maybe. your stand up yeah. and he's gonna die laughing <laughs> and he's gonna say, "Well, he better on stage." You know, what I'm <laughs> <laughs> you know? but it's all good, man. You know, the out here making people gay. Oh, I mean, you know, that's an allegedly. That's an allegedly. I mean, there's theories. There's theories about you know what I've, I've seen some weird theories online about what causes gayness. Yo, what does make people gay? I don't know. The wildest one I saw was they said if you're a guy, mm -hmm. if you keep your mouth closed on the way out. Come on, bro. <laughs> so, if you so, keep your mouth closed so, on the way on, out. Bro. You know what I'm saying? So, on, they said if you keep your mouth open on the way out and you get a little taste, that's what you always crave. <laughs> I heard that. And then they said for women... You come out with your mouth open. <laughs> yeah. Same thing. Hey, <laughs> you, if you keep your mouth closed. That's what I heard. Where did you find these Did you hear that? that Damn, bro. That's crazy. I saw it online, yo. Damn. I don't know. What do Jamaicans have to say about that? Because they're really conflicted. C-section. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they, they don't want to be gay. C-section. Because they don't want to be gay. But at the same time, they're not trying to eat pussy. So they, they are very conflicted about what to do when you exit a vagina. <laughs> they gotta go C-section, yo. That's their only way oh, out. Man. That's crazy. They do. Oh. They gotta pop out like like oh. when you bite into the beef patty. <laughs> wow. <laughs> <laughs> they, they gotta split the seams a little bit. You know what I mean? <laughs> yo, Jamaicans oh are like that. You just see the fathers in the room just oh. keep your mouth shut. Oh. <laughs> keep your mouth Oh, <laughs> Don't be no licking a poom poom. Oh my god. No licking a poom poom. Oh, oh my God, man. Jamaican dads don't want the doctor to slap their boys on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> he figure out the breathing on his own. <laughs> oh, oh my God, man.